Hey, can I take you back to United? How far, yes. away, how far away are they right now from being where they want to be, where the field should be? Um, well, when you look at Liverpool and, and Manchester City, I think uh, they're a long way off. Whether I, I like what Oli's doing up there. I think there's a nice feel about the club at the moment. I think he's come in and he's had a, a very good starting period. He's had an unsettling time, but I think I think he's steadied the ship now. I think um, I think things are going in the right direction, but still a long, long way off of challenging the top two for for the championship. So uh, they need to recruit in the right manner, um, get the right people out as well, which which isn't easy when you're at a football club. Name names, they, Teddy. They need to be moving in the right direction. Teddy, give us some names you should get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that time of day already, Graham? Yeah, um, I've two coffees. <laughs> well, the, the big one yeah. for me is Pogba. You know, he's, he's, that's, I'm sure that's what you're asking about. There's been a lot of talk about him. When, when you mention top players, captains, uh, when things weren't going right at, at, in our time, Roy Keane put things right. He would drive our team on. He would dig deep. He would make sure that we had a say in, the, in every game that we played in because of his desire. And I think when you look at Paul Pogba, does he have the same mentality? Yes, he might be a talented boy, but does he really dig deep? Does he get Manchester United out of the mire when, when, when uh, the, the going gets tough? And for me, the answers are no. He gives off the wrong uh, vibe as a Manchester United player. Yes, it's good to be cocky and arrogant at the right times. Uh, I would say Dwight York, I'd mentioned him earlier, he had that as well, big smile on his face and cocky and arrogant. But he had a desire to do things right as well uh, at the right times. And I, and I think you've got to have that. And I don't think Paul Pogba gives you that. Um, and I think he would be one that, that would need to, to go so that you can uh, get someone else in with the right mentality and the right desire. And the Manchester United way to, to drive your team on to make sure that that you get out of the position that you're in and, and move the club forward. We're going to talk a bit more later on about those, those qualities that are needed in a leader, particularly off the back of The Last Dance, which is, of course, the Michael Jordan documentary. But, Teddy, for now, thank you very much for joining us to reminisce about that Champions League final in 1999 and that historic treble. Cheers, Kelly. No problem. Cheers, Jack. Graham. Nice Thanks, Teddy. You.